Hey guys, Gretchen's Vegan Bakery back with another cheesecake recipe and this time it is a turtle cheesecake. Yes, chocolate, caramel, and pecans make up any turtle dessert and this was really easy to do with my awesome base recipe for double chocolate cheesecake. Just add some caramel sauce and toasted pecans and there you have it. So check out how easy it is and first to make the chocolate cheesecake. So you will need a base crust of chocolate sandwich cookies and melted vegan butter. Just process it all together and then press it into the bottom of a greased and parchment lined cake pan into the refrigerator while you prepare the cheesecake batter and that is simply vegan cream cheese, cocoa powder, melted chocolate and vegan butter, salt, cornstarch and flour, some sugar, plant milk, vanilla extract and yes I do use tofu to add some lightness and creaminess to my cheesecakes but for those of you who don't like that idea you can use all vegan cream cheese and your cheesecake will just be a lot more dense than mine. Not a bad thing, just preferences. So just throw all the ingredients together into a food processor or a blender and process it until it's smooth then you're just going to pour that over your prepared crust and I bake my vegan cheesecakes in a water bath in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for an hour then I let it cool down and pop it into the refrigerator for at least four hours or overnight and in the meantime you can make the caramel sauce and it is just light brown sugar sea salt and a can of full fat coconut milk everything into a sauce pot and then bring it up to a boil you're going to reduce the heat to a medium simmer and let it reduce and thicken now this will take anywhere from about 20 minutes to a half an hour and it will also thicken up as it cools so pour it into a heat proof container to cool and then once the cheesecake has cooled and you're able to unmold it simply pour Pour that caramel sauce on top and then the roasted pecans. I added a drizzle of ganache on mine, but this is optional. You can actually decorate it any way that you like. As you see, this is definitely a caramel sauce and it is quite saucy. So just spoon up the excess onto each serving and you have yourself a nice little spin on a simple chocolate cheesecake. I do hope you'll try this recipe, so just head over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab the written printable version. And while you're there, you have to check out all my other amazing cheesecakes that I've made. And since I have chocolate caramel and pecans on my brain lately, you won't want to miss this turtle donut I recently made. So much great stuff happening at Gretchen's Vegan Bakery, so I hope you will subscribe here to my channel and you won't miss a single thing. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.